Well, here's the update on this cub project for tonight. Took the pull start off. This comes off the plate. Pull start stays in there. It's just four bolts come off. Then four 10 millimeter bolts hold this on. Like eh, to the crankshaft. And there's a big nut that goes in the center. So I pulled all that off and what we're left with is the crank nut which was larger than the one on the Kohler motor. So instead of just going on nuts with machining here, I actually took a step bit, like I'm Paul Jr., and just reamed that out a little bit. It looks crappier than it actually is. I did the step bit so that it would self-center itself. And then there was a dowel right there. I drilled it out because it didn't line up with the bolt holes that held that pull start on. This is what actually centers, or actually like, kind of like a key goes on there, and that's what keeps it from turning on the crank. So I drilled that out so it's a hole now. Then I put a, I don't know what thread it was, probably like eight millimeter or something. But I put it in there with red Loctite on it, cut the head off, and now, We got that. So it actually fit on with much less work than I expected. So I'm just gonna tighten it on and see how it looks. Oh, there we go. Got that on there. It's not really tightened down yet. I don't have the proper size socket. But that comes out of there now. And if I turn the motor around, it'll go down to the shaft. And a few people were asking, yes, the motor does turn the same direction as the Kohler. It is just that strange, and it doesn't mount to the logical output shaft. It mounts to the flywheel. Same as did in the Kohler. Kohler turns, standard rotation, same as this motor. I checked down the other Kohler, turned the starter. Motor turns that way. So I can verify it without starting the other crap Kohler motor. So now I have to notch the frame, lay it in there, and line up the crank with the drive shaft so you see right now there's quite a difference but I can probably drop it three or four inches right there let's just see about the same level should be and this kind of did fall down a little bit so it does go up a bit it's on, a, it's on like a vibration damper at the back so yeah that's that so the next steps cut the frame and we'll see what happens